Drive 2 is created right there for us, as you can see. And it's been added. And you see it's listed up here. And that's really it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. We have created our Drive 2 as a, and made it available to Proxmos to use. Furthermore, you can see that Drive 1 and Drive 2 is listed in these available areas here. And Drive 2 is my SD, SSD that I want to use to run the VMs on this node. Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tech Tinktronics channel where today we are going to be adding a physical drive to Proxmox. This is a Tech Tinktronics production and without further ado we're going to get it started. I'm going to start by logging into the Proxmox um, node that I have to add the disk to. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, so basically we are going to start, we're going to be like adding the physical drive SDD into Proxmox as drive two. First, we want to make sure the drive is good. So I did that earlier. We could go and take a look at the dinner data center. Take a look at the drives, the disks, this, and you can see that the device that we want to get is uh, SDD as shown in the slide. So how do we do it? Well, there's a couple of things that we have to do. First, we're going to have to get into a node, the node shell. And simply, we would open up. My favorite tool to use would be Putty. So let's, uh, and then you would enter the host name. Port 22 is already entered for you. Let's see what happens. We get this. Buddy security alert message, just click yes. I think we should be fine to log in. All right, hopefully you can see this as best as you can see it. I'm gonna put, put in a command, ls -bl blk. I think that's what I want. That's gonna list everything as far as the disk drives are concerned. And you see the, uh, the disk drive that we are looking to set up is the SDD. We are going to run our VMs off the solid state drive. We're going to use the fdisk command to create a partition. It's going to be fdisk dash device dash SDD. Welcome to FDisk, blah, blah, blah. Names will remain in memory only until you decide to write them. That's how this works. Okay. You can always type M for help if you ever need it. There's a lot of good information there. We're going to see if we could type N to create a new partition. We're going to call it primary. We're going to use default one. Use default for the first sector and let default be the last sector. Okay, that was easy. Then we'd have to type W to write it to the partition table. The partition table has been altered, thinking disk. Okay, then like we have to create the physical volume. So, um, this going back to my slide here, getting a little ahead of ourselves. So we open the nodes shell. We're using it to 
F disk to create a partition, which we did. Then we want to create the physical volume and the volume group. So that's what the next commands will do for us. So we want to create the physical volume by typing this command PV create space dash DEV dash S D D one PV create dash device S D D one physical volume has been successfully created bg create new drive we're going to call it drive 2 dash dev dash sdd 1 that should work volume group drive 2 has been successfully created now back in our proxmox window all right, we're going to go to data center, storage, add OVM. ID will be drive two. Drive two is created right there for us, as you can see. And it's been added. And you see it's listed up here. And that's really it in a nutshell, ladies and gentlemen. We have created our drive to as a, and made it available to Proxmox to use. Furthermore, you can see that drive one and drive two is listed in these available areas here. And drive two is my SD, SSD that I want to use to run the VMs on this node. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to holler at me. Leave a message in the comment section. Or, and also, feel free to subscribe to this channel, like the video, dislike the video, whatever have you. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.